keep going. Where can I get the deck code? It's on my mobile Linux. Also, someone in chat can probably give it to you also. Pretty easily. Oh, well, we're deep. <laughs> Generally, most of the deep decks I've been making have kind of stomped uh, like normal deep. Yeah, I'm like deep. Deep on round three. Okay, I don't know. Deep on like literally round four or five easily. Literally round four or five deep. Yeah, GG Randall. I think the problem with single combat in that deck is your units aren't big enough to start, but... Single combat is kind of sick late game where it's just two mana removal with not. I did do discard deep. That was, uh... Wait a second. Can I, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna obliterate his mouth, <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, reduce the cost. So it's gonna be four. It's, yeah, it's definitely turn five. Oh, I can play this as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Missing translation, okay. <laughs> That's pretty hard to deal with. Does he have grasp? Oh, he does. It's kind of a waste, though. He's going to get one activation, but I'm still going to be able to kill it next round. Oh, I should have... Uh, should I have attacked? No, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I'm still obliterating this Maokai. After all is said and done, it still dies. Okay. I'm sure you could go deep on turn three with perfect draws. That seems highly likely. Technically, he does have exactly enough for ruination, but I will let him ruin if he has it. Usually you are not supposed to slow roll your deep turn. Like they don't run three ruinations, so. Yeah, if he has ruination here, he has it. Fair enough, he has it, probably. Yep, okay. Luckily, I have Entreat, so my odds of getting a new Knot is pretty high. And just these fish are going to be pretty dangerous for him. Like, I'm going to... Like, I, I will eat the Ruination, so... Get bloody, get paid. He hasn't played any Lures, I believe, so I'm pretty safe to just Flood here with my 3-3s. Uh, three Does it really matter either way? Uh, not necessarily. I'm enjoying deep right now just as something to do. Some deck to kind of work on, but... I don't have any particular... Uh, like any... Like, deep is kind of a bilge water thing, so... Yeah, not a bad thing. 
for it to just remain a bilge water thing, probably. Alright. Now, he could run double ruination, but most decks do not. I do, I will even be able to play I if he does. So, yeah. At the end of the day, we actually get in for really good damage here. The lure has been the big factor so far in this game. Lure has kind of just been nuts. He did have the thing, like, if you go turbo deep and your opponent has ruination like that, I think they're usually at an advantage. So, like, the way our hands matched up was quite good for him, but... The two obliterate fish already on the board is pretty good for me. Oh, that sucks that I burned the hoarder. That's a good draw, though. Burning the hoarder kind of sucks. That hoarder would have been OP. I will have my own knot back, though. He definitely needs to do something here, not the other way around. Uh, three in my deck. Two of them are Nautilus. So... Probably do not want to play this. Without the Shipwrecked Hoarder though, I'm in trouble. I'm in really big trouble burning the Shipwrecked Hoarder late game. Uh, I played Knot, right? I already played my first Knot. So it was already back, if you want to think of it that way. Well, yeah, 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 I need to do this. Wait, I can play this? No, I'd probably just deck myself if I played that. Like, he's gonna level Maokai. Eyes are gonna kill me? Not GG at all for me. Why would you do this? Do not, do not attack with this 3 2. If he has Vengeance, maybe he feels safe enough, but it's still super dangerous. Open attack next round? Yeah, it's possible. I, I do lose to Vengeance. He'll draw a card with the fish. It depends. It depends. It depends. Doesn't automatically mean I will. Uh, it doesn't mean I'll kill myself first, right? Danger paid. Joel can give hoarder, that's also true. Uh, you can tie in this game, notice man. Oh, I have not guaranteed lost at all. If he has vengeance, I probably can't win. So if he has the Ruination and the Vengeance, it looks like he's running a lot of tech cards, so... Yeah, if he has both of those, I am in trouble. He goes for not interesting. Well, he definitely has his own set of sea monsters here. That's a good one. Attacking is just losing, uh... Quincy. It's just, I would just lose the game if I attacked. Fish will not kill me. 
Tossing, if there's no, there's nothing to toss. Toss isn't drawing, is what you need to understand. The fish doesn't actually kill me. Uh, this is also gonna, um, ball not, so that's gonna be good. Alright, I have a clear path to victory now. He needs Vile Feast or Elusive Fish. He doesn't have the. He doesn't run Lure. He runs stuff like Vengeance and Ruination instead of Lure. So he doesn't have the mana to play anything here. Like a Lure not deck could like, you know, flood the board still. But he needs specifically Elusive Fish or Vile Feast. Those are the cards he needs. Everything else is not really doing anything here. That doesn't do anything. Drag them down. You point, I shoot. Go and harvest him. Entreat, Avalanche, and Tavern Keeper, Ultraviolet. Yeah, but no one runs Mark of the Isles, and he doesn't have coral creatures. Interesting. Alright, no aggro this time. That's good. Try the deep TF deck? Yeah, that's the deck I made a few days ago. I, I mean, I've already like played it quite a bit, and I prefer the Feral Yord. I think FJ gives you a little bit of a better splash. Why is Petty Officer bad? I already have three drops. I could run Petty Officer over Jaw Hunters. But in a lure deck, that's probably a bad idea. I don't know though, you could try it. Even in even with lure, you could try Petty Officer. Uh, I've been, uh, no, I've been crushing uh, SI control with this deck pretty regularly. We already have not to, so... Not much to worry about. I definitely need more draw though. These old eyes still see far and clear. The Healies? Where are you? Cool, doesn't want to do damage to me. I do appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. My talons are frost. My okay. wings, the bitter winds. And Brom is your wingman. He kind of got debated here. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, I see. I drew this. Okay. Good, good. No, I'm perfect on my hand size. Perfect, perfect. We are perfect, guys. This is fun, yes? Endless cold. Endless peace. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! Two away from deep. Jettison would be nice here. Well, anything that draws would be nice, I guess. Okay, that works too. I guess we can give him a draw here. Oh, we'll do this, actually. 
I guess he can deny it with the um, glimpse if he wants. Yeah, that's a good idea of him. If he has Avalanche, he should definitely play it. Oh, that makes me go deep. That's funny. Interesting. I, of course, will not play Nautilus into Ruination mana. Oh, interesting. What did I burn? Uh, I like TF Swain, Ash Sege, um, those are, those seem like good options. Yeah, I didn't see what I burned here. I mean, he's gonna have to do something. He knows that, right? He's gonna have to do something. A world in perfect stillness. Oh, there we go. I'll make him play Vengeance here. Probably not going to be able to hold if he plays Vengeance here, though. Not going to be able to hold the elusive swing. At least it's not likely. Okay, he does that instead. Good Fury, yeah. Fury would be fine. Should be pretty rough for him here. Harsh Winds Vengeance does it, but not too much else. Gotta be Harsh Winds, at least, I would say. Uh, Grasp? Yeah, I don't have uh, that anymore, so Grasp could be okay here, too. Oh, it should be Harsh Winds and Vengeance, then. That's what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, living at one. Okay. Okay, this is a great opportunity to set up not now. I'll probably just even uh, riptide this Anivia. Just uh, make it so there's no pressure on me next round with an open attack or anything. He could have the third glimpse, but it's unlikely. Oh, he has it. We rise in you. All right, well, I suppose I'll just force out the ruination then. 
and go for the open attack off of that. Huh. That's crazy, he had the third glimpse. Only half his, less than half his deck drawn before it too. He must open Ruination here. This is like a very, uh, very forced set of plays from our opponent. Okay, that's a meme play. Oh, he wants to Harrowing. Okay, interesting. Maximum he gets three Anivias. No, I'm not concerned about much. He could choose to Ruination still. I think he still kind of needs to play Ruination. I don't think Harrowing will win him this game if he goes for it. He goes for it, but yeah, I don't think it can work. And now I just flood with sea monsters. Should be pretty easy stuff. Even uh, Avalanche is looking good here. Alert the village. Well, maybe not. Okay, we got this at least. Probably heal this fish up. Actually, Avalanche might have been better because it would have gotten rid of the, uh, I mean, he's pretty dead. I mean, he's minus three blockers here, which is going to be difficult. I mean, there might be a way for him to live here, actually. Huh. Avalanche kills, like, two of my guys. It depends. If he has the exactly what he needs here, plus another Harrowing, I think it. I think he might actually be able to win. He need, like, Grasp. No, nah, it's very hard. It's very hard. He'd have to have Harsh Winds. No, nah, I think it's impossible. He, he doesn't have Banked Mana. He doesn't have Banked Mana, which I think means GG. If he had banked mana, he could have uh, he could have done something there.